What's up guys? My name is Justin. Welcome back to the channel today and we are back on uh, what's it called? Hopper Suit 2. <laughs> I promise you I can uh, figure this one out. Alright, let's load slot 1 which is going to put us back where we were on the previous episode and we are back doing what we were doing earlier. Oh, no, I don't want the freaking demo. The demo screen launches after like five seconds of idle time on this on this game it's insane uh, i think that's both episodes now that i've been hanging out waiting for it to load start talking and then had it go anyways we're gonna get right back into what we were doing last time out if you don't remember we did the porsche 911 knockout as kind of our first uh first race first kind of intro to everything uh and we did find out that there is an expert skill level of advance so we'll keep that in mind we're not going to do a knockout necessarily um, but I just wanted to get in here and look at what our task is going to be. Lead all laps in a single race, one player, two laps, world racing, uh, full grid advanced. What's world racing? Oh, this is world racing, okay. Two laps advanced, or higher, I assume. Uh, full grid, catch up off, doesn't matter, full grid, traffic, whatever. Gotta go through and make sure we get everything set again to the correct parameters. Lead all laps, so two laps should be plenty. That's all good. So two laps. Again, I guess my my theory with this is I'm gonna try to drive some of the cars that are among my favorites for this type of thing. Um, there are plenty that I you know enjoy whatnot, but we're gonna drive my favorites because otherwise my life is. All right, so we only need to do two laps and I have to lead all of them. We're gonna do it on expert. See if that works out. Not going to be just the only race in this video because I don't anticipate this being very long. Um, but we'll see. We're going to start the back, obviously. Alright, we are away. Got to lead both these laps track. I enjoy it. Not a super long lap, so we got to get Of course, if you are from the field, I'm going to see eight. This is a new race, but you can tell by the uh, yellow or amber. Yeah, I'm a big fan 
550 as a platform for Marquette, obviously kind of the rarest top level of those, but Ferrari 550 has always been an attractive car along with the 575 as North America. Oh, those are much more rare than the 550. I uh, can never go wrong with the 8 manual car like the 550. Um, I'm also a big fan of the 360 platform, although not as much. The sound is awesome. Obviously, that may or may not have come from my love of this game as a kid. But, uh, I digress. We're on the last straightaway for a half second lead. That should be plenty to hold them off here on the running line. And, uh, take a big three here to start out this episode of the playthrough. You play first! You've unlocked the Need for Speed edition of the Jaguar right, XKR. XKR. Another favorite car of mine. You've beaten the lap record for this oh, track. Oh, no, I do not want to restart. Holy cow, let's not do that. All right. <laughs> All right, let's hop right back into it. See what up is what up is next. What is up next? Uh, we'll just go with that for now. We'll see what we got coming up here on the tree the question mark cars uh, lead all laps a single race full grid advanced isn't that what i just did a single race one player two laps world racing full grid advanced isn't that literally what i just did all right well i guess we'll do that another time and then we'll see what we got here coming up lead all laps a single race four laps advanced all right one player four laps world racing full grid advanced single race I guess we'll go with advanced. I don't know why it makes a difference. I don't know. Do I have to have traffic on? I don't understand. Does it does it make a difference? Lead all laps a single race. One one player, four laps, world racing, full grid, advanced. Alright, well I guess we'll try to do this one. We'll pick a different track though. Uh, let's use the XKR Need for Speed Edition. Why not? Uh, let's go to National Forest. Oh, we don't have National Forest. It's a point-to-point -point race. Desert Heat. Rocky Canyons. Ancient Ruins. All right, that's a fun track. I guess we'll do this. We'll try to lead all four laps here and go with that. Um, I, I don't know. I don't know why that didn't work. <laughs> if we were on Expert, which in theory is harder than an Advanced, right? Why, why are we doing this? <laughs> Whatever. If this one works, then I guess we'll go for some reason to ask I guess we'll know if, it, if this works, that it has to be a process. Again, I don't know if I have to have traffic or not, but that's a bell thing. I have no idea. It's a learning process, for this one, yes. If this doesn't work, we'll do something else. We'll find other challenges or on the car list and bring something else. Alright, let's get some good air time for the car running down the computers. Let's get on top of the Alright, let's not drive straight as well. I think we're not sure. I love a turbo. Last episode, we just tried to knock up. Not drive straight that well for us. Again, this car is not the fastest. Um, That being said, it is a car I love. I, I fell in love with this car very early on in my speed hop suit career, all the way back in what, probably like 2005 ish. This game, 2005. Uh, so, age 6 or 7, so we're pushing like 200 years now that I've been in love with uh, you know, Diablo 6 C6 uh, or C5 Z06 and speed this car. And again, I, I pretty much hold all these cars at a ridiculous higher level than than everything else that's come since. I mean, I was never a big fan of C6 and ZR, Z06. I can make this up, promise. Never a big fan of C6 and Z06. It's an amazing car, but the C5 Z was always kind of my quintessential track spec, ready to go out of the box, performance Corvette. Um, even though it did quite most measures, the C6 is better in every single way. Um, I just never felt that way. So, that came from the same with the FDA Jaguar XKR that came out five years after this game, so 2006, 2007, somewhere in there. I prefer this car. Um, it's fun. No particular reason, it's just the biggest kind of car I grew up with. Same with the 430 Ferrari. Great car, amazing car, especially like the Scud. Um, the 360, uh, that wine, I 
that, that this game that kind of is always the, the one thing. So. Yeah, I, 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 I do look at the Shilago. I do look at the Shilago the 650, the B640, excuse me, the uh, Diablo 60. Uh, again, it's kind of a good introduction to Lamborghinis and Diablos. That was kind of the first supercar I fell in love with above the, um, above the Shilago, even though that car already about the Shilago was kind of featured in this game. But again, I digress. Regardless, I think this car is full of awesome. This car, this game is full of awesome cars. That's gonna be about 12 racing, so which is fine. Uh, this game is full of awesome cars. I love it. It's uh, it's got everything that a classic super speed game should have. It's a blast to drive. It still holds up fairly well as a game. All these years later, which is really impressive. Um, but yeah, the Gen 2 Viper is my favorite Gen of Viper. GTS in this game. Yeah, I guess the, just everything about this game is what my childhood love of cars is based on. In some way, shape, or form. Which, looking back on this record, it's a, it might be an interesting subject. Again, I'm 25 years old. This is kind of this is the era I grew up. Uh, those impression figures that everybody talks about. These were the cars, so it does make sense. And obviously, my newfound love of or relatively newfound love of the last couple years of the uh, sixth generation Chevy Camaro kind of comes from what I actually want in a car. The car everything is that the interior um, of the C5 Z06 is absolutely awful. Everybody knows that the issues with this uh, Jaguar XKR are a uh, many and they're not the best cars to have in the 21st century. They were engineered as such, but when they're going up, they're kind of perfect for Euro cars. Same with the 360, Rob Frank's talked a lot about. The 360's a great car, but you don't know what you're doing, you don't know how to take care of it. It's not the car, it's not like you can just ignore all the services and everything just works forever and just maintain it. Uh, basically, it's not that kind of car. So. The Diablo 60 on the other hand, that is that is the dream car that will forever be the millionaire dream car. Um, yeah, the crew's no longer in this race. It's pretty cool, so I'm going to try to get off the cruise. Yeah, I'm trying to think of what other kind of cars here. I mentioned the 550 already. Um, I was never a massive Camaro GT fan. It's an amazing car. Don't get me wrong. Um, you know, Doug Camaro's favorite car. I was never the car for me. Same with the F50. Car. Um, everybody loves the CLK GTR for the most part. Everybody loves the McLaren F1. I think that that's uh, that's an easy one. Um, I'm trying to think what else we got. This game is just nuts. Um, I I I enjoy the SVT Cobra Cobra R in 2000. Red car. But, uh, it's, it was never a favorite for me. Again, it's another car that I've read a lot about, watched a lot about, about for his head. It's it's just not. My perfect cup of tea, I guess, is what they look at. Yeah, that's some of the slower cars, you know. The CLK 55, uh, Andrew, whatever it is, the first one. With, uh, you know, the TS 50, those are my favorite cars. I, I do have a big love of the M5, this Gen M5, which is one of the I love that car. Again, it has issues, it's not a performance car by 2023. Standards or anything, so it's not you know, on my bucket list or anything crazy like that. I tell myself I'm never going to buy you know, a Jaguar XK8 or XKR, this car, um, or a C5 Z06, just because they're, they're perfect right there in my mind. They, they can't be topped. They're hero cars in my childhood, and I'm almost certain, certainly this car, but I'm worried even that C5Z will not live up to my expectations in that regard, which I think would be a shame and I think would be sad and kind of defeat. It's not a car that's, you know, just a monster in a straight line or a track monster or anything like that. C5Z is a little bit, but I want to make sure that those cars that are pure and special to me from my childhood kind of maintain their holiness, if that makes sense. So, I'm trying to think, uh, I'm thinking about other cars that are. They, the, uh, oh, shoot, I'm just going to press the back end. 
Anyways, <laughs> ignore that. The, um, what was at least the second gen modes, at least in this game, I do love that as a car, but it is very impractical, especially to have as, you know, a sports car or anything like that. Very, very uncomfortable at my height, 6 foot 1. Um, certainly is a, a cramped sitting environment. Um, very, very loud, you know, not really something you can drive even really regularly, certainly not every day unless you're an absolute masochist, which some people are. Right? Um, other cars that fit that kind of same description would be um, Opus Speedster and Box Only X220. I've wanted to get Opus Speedster for a long time. Basically, a similar, if not it's basically the same chassis as that Lotus Lease, second gen Lotus Lease, um, with slightly more power. The only problem is they were never US imported. I've had to wait until they were 25 years old, which I guess is going to be in about another two years. Maybe that's something for the future someday. Uh, Opus Speedster. Who knows? I do love that car, but again, not a not a car. So, trying to think of driving at the same time is rather difficult <laughs> as I'm going through the car list. Uh, but yeah, I mean, you see it's a great car. I should have to start. All the cars from this game, for the most part, are significant and cars that I view favorably. Um, definitely a group of cars. Obviously, um, if you know, I'm a big fan of my amateur TO, uh, done on the Asteroid 1, um, 0506, which is basically the HSV, um, whatever it is in here. So, that car is special to me. I'm um, not going to get in this game because the HSV is what it is. It's not the same as the Pontiac GTO exactly. But, um, another special car, pretty much out of That was actually one of the things that we looked at. Um, that movie, that's kind of Trick Bruce's or whatever his name is, Hero Car, is a uh, the first round of the speed challenge thing. It's a C6 pullback again. <laughs> okay, I've talked for basically 10 minutes now about my love of cars from this game. And other, you know, classic e Need for Speed games. The upper is a 22 second game. It'd be really weird if this was the game, or this was the race to unlock us that car, considering it's not advanced, which I don't know why it's not expert. I really don't know. That sounds like something that would come from a game like this, is that hey, we had this idea and we can change it because it's was too difficult to run a regular tank. If that's the case, we'll just run these kind of races on advanced and then we'll go through and use the next one for everything else, which is fair enough. It's fine. So, if that proves to be the case, then we'll go back and we'll uh, run the other one again, hopefully. I think we'll go back to Coastal Park and do that. We'll just see I talked about very briefly is the S9 Trail Vanquish. Again, fun car, enjoy the car. It's not one of my very favorites, but it's not crazy. I love it, but that car with the car is certainly a manual. Well, some more manuals, but I'm not sure if I'm going to be a bunch of manuals. Um, I mean, I think Matt uh, Farah has one that's manual swap we had. It sounds like it's a good car, relatively reliable for the world. It's a 2012 made by Aston. So, again, a car I do favorably not something I would ever desire to own, personally. Unless I, you know, just won the lotto and had $50 million to spend on whatever the heck I want. But again, as I've heard many times with my car selection, I probably have, you know, basically a Lamborghini Diablo or two 60, or so I could own 640. Um, 911 turbo was a GT3s from late 2010 and stuff. 991 spec. And then uh, basically like 10 of the old ones essentially. So might have an SS one LE in there. So drive a little bit of $10,000 on the tires. Uh, but yeah, I mean, the cars I love are all pretty, pretty standard. I would not mind having five of each of them uh, rather than having this massive collection of like Sultan Nai style where you have you know, one of everything. <laughs> but, anyways, we are coming up to the conclusion here. I don't think we're going to quite run the best lap here. But that's a success, hopefully it doesn't you like the car, why it would if it did what it asked us to do. Um, You've unlocked the Ferrari 550 Barchetta. Oh, that's because the points up BX220, so it did work for that. I don't know what was different. Maybe it does have to just be on advanced. You beat the lap record for this track. I don't know why you'd have to have it be on advanced when there's an expert mode. It should be advanced and higher. But again, I digress. We'll just go with it, so... We'll do that one more here to kind of 
finish off this episode, we'll go through and make sure that we can unlock whatever this is. Lead all laps to one player, two laps, world race advanced. Whatever, that's fine. I can do that. Uh, let's see what else we got. We got one. I'm sorry, that sound effect is going to be really annoying for you. Uh, one, two... Oh, yeah, so I guess after this we have basically two plus the CLK GTR of kind of normal, normal e races left that you get through here uh, rather than um, through the other things. So, um, what do we want to drive? Let's drive the M5, why not? Is this box on the Opal Speedster? Hey, if we only got to do two laps, let's drive the Opal Speedster while we have a chance. Nice green color. Go back to Coastal Parklands. Two laps, we just got to lead both laps. Should be easy enough. Um, we'll see what the verdict ends up being. I would really hope that we can just win this lead both laps. Be good. I don't know why they're being issued this. Again, cool car. Enjoy this car. Pretty slow. I don't know why this car. Some of the crazy stuff, especially in this game. It's enjoyable car. And the Supergo, I remember that about driving the C at least to a nice museum as well. Driving this car in the lowest of these. I don't know that was always pretty crazy. We made it. Driving a that sign that we retired in. This car in the lowest of these. We handled it unbelievably well. Especially on the pavement by the side of this. It's just like slightly more than it was. Handled unbelievably well. I mean, we caught it. In the most least here, and I assume you you can pretty much run flat around this track if you're just hot lapping in the traffic. Turn one's a little bit of a different story. Um, basically, from here to the end of the lap, you're almost full throttle on the lap, but you don't have a different uh, lift. Um, but yeah, super fun, fun car to drive. That twisted car to get in the lap is a little bit different. A little bit more technical. Flat since we were coming off that corner right. Bet you behind the Elise. If you arc this out really big, turn in easy, easy flat. Not a problem at 135. Flat all the way down through here. Not a problem. Don't hardly leave the ground there. Flat, nice turn in. Again, just pretty much all the road here is flat. Without issue. Through here up. Flat turn in here for this as long as you get your line right. Spot where you're going. Flat all the way up through here again as well. So, yeah, you can run well over half the lap in full throttle without lifting it. Yeah, the Speedster, the X220, and the Elise. It's like a track where you got this one button switch. The TS50, but it looks like it's a little bit faster than the same speed in a straight line. Oh, we led the lap, but it's a clean lap. Alright, one more time to do the forest fire, which 
I still never explained to me why that's a thing at this track, just for some kind of San Andreas kind of default track. Let's see where she does have any of that weird shit going on. Plenty of gap, seven seconds roughly, probably more. Coming down the finish line, we are going to be our best lap, obviously, from the start lap and being in traffic. It's going to be a clean race. It's good to have. And that's going to be that. Let's see what we got. New place Hopefully. first! I don't know why we wouldn't, but we'll see. You've unlocked right, the Need CL55 for Speed AMG. edition like of the Mercedes CL55 AMG. From the start. You've beaten the lap record for this track. So 222,000 Need for Speed. You set so a new course record. We are clicking through the uh, the points there, which is great. I think we need like four million or something ridiculous to get the like top cars, the McLaren F1, and so on. So uh, I'm just going to scroll through here and see kind of what else is left on the list. Um, that's race-based, obviously, CLK GTR, uh, one player, eight laps, um, drive a clean race. That's going to be tough. We're going to have to pick our course carefully there and pick our car carefully. Um, we'll see what else we have here that's based on the events. Uh, let's see, this one is drive a clean race, single race, four players. So that's the same thing with four laps. Uh, clean race, we'll probably tackle that one next time out. I anticipate this is the same thing, two laps, perhaps? Lead all laps a single race, eight laps. So this is the same thing we just did, but eight laps. So that's good to know. That should be pretty easy. Um, we'll pick something a little bit faster and probably go back to that same track just for time's sake. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it for today. We will save the game. Save file. All right. That's saved, updated, perfect. So... That's going to be all for today. Thank you all so much for stopping by. Make sure you drop a like and a sub down below. Don't want you to miss anything from Need for Speed Hot Pursuit 2. Uh, my other series that I've gotten up and running now. Um, if you haven't checked it out, make sure you go give it a watch. I think it's something that is going to be really enjoyable to go through as we get to the freaking demo again. <laughs> it's so short. Uh, this game. The demo is going to kill me. I wish I could turn it off. But Regardless, <laughs> it's part of the game, I guess. But That's going to be all for today. Thank you so much for stopping in. Bye-bye.